Hi, I'm Father Alan Alexander, and this is another edition of Ask a Marian. Linda Delgado writes, I am old and from the Baltimore Catechism time. After Vatican II, I started receiving Holy Communion on the tongue. This past year, after we are allowed to go to Mass, we were forced to receive in the hand. My question is, isn't this a sacrilege? We are not priests. Our hands are not consecrated. In California, it is only allowed in the hand. But am I committing a sin? Again, another good question. And there has been a lot of confusion about this, and we get these sorts of questions all the time. And there have been periods in the church, long before the Second Vatican Council, that people have received on the tongue, and other times in which people have received in the hand. Receiving in the hand in and of itself is not a sin because the church has permitted it. You can get into arguments about whether or not one is a more reverent way of receiving than another, but the church, who has been given the keys of the kingdom on earth, has said that faithful are permitted to receive, at least in the United States and in many places in the world, on the tongue or in the hand. Now, no matter how we receive Jesus, whether on the tongue or in the hand, we must do so reverently. We should never take the host from the priest. We should always receive it humbly. And if we receive on our hands, bringing it to our mouths and taking it reverently as a sign that shows to others that we know that this is the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ. In the rite of ordination, a priest's hands are consecrated. This is symbolic of the fact that his hands will hold ordinary bread, and in his hands it will become the body of Christ. No other person can do this other than the priest. But to touch the host, the church has permitted extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion to do this. One could try to make the argument that I can't receive anywhere since no part of my body has been anointed in order to receive the Eucharist. But that wouldn't be true because at my baptism, my body was anointed. I was anointed a priest, a prophet, and king. All of us were. While the priest was specifically anointed to be able to confect the Eucharist, to forgive people's sins, all of us at our baptism were anointed priest, prophet, and king. All of us share in some way in the priesthood of Jesus Christ. My tongue has not been specially anointed to receive the Eucharist, but my body has been anointed. I received Holy Communion long before my hands were anointed. I received Holy Communion long before I approached the altar and became a priest. We must touch the host in some way if we're going to receive it. Is my mouth any more worthy than my hands? Again, the argument for receiving on the tongue is about reverence. Whatever way we receive ought to be reverent. Christ asks us as an act of humility to receive him. We want to make sure that we're not caught up in our own will, but rather that in obedience to the church, we follow what the church prescribes. But each person, the members of the faithful, are capable of receiving on the tongue, or in the United States, in the hand. One should not be denied Holy Communion if they want to receive on the tongue. The USCCB has made this clear. Many places I have seen the accommodation where that those who wish to receive on the tongue would receive at the end of the line so that there's not a question or not a concern about those who are receiving in the hand and then in between them people receiving on the tongue. But again, we're allowed. The church has given us permission to receive on the tongue or in the hand. If for some reason you don't feel comfortable receiving the Eucharist, again, physically, ask him for that grace sacramentally. 
Jesus is not limited by the sacraments. He can come into your soul if you desire a union with him. Even if for whatever reason you make the prudential judgment that you do not want to receive Christ in the hand, invite him spiritually into your heart and pray for the day when there is no longer the concern about receiving on the tongue. And if you have more questions about this, talk to your priest. Ask him, let him know about your desire to receive the Eucharist this way and see if maybe there's a way for him to make an accommodation. Maybe receiving after mass or privately. Just ask and hopefully God through his church will be charitable and accommodate you.